before the DVDs can be used to record a speech, we've got to format them. That happens with the burner unit. First, we turn the burner unit on. We see it power up. You'll see the menu come on. We take an unformatted disc from our pile. We open up using this key here. Slide the drawer out. Goes on the spindle, clicks down, and it goes, of course, with the label side up. And then we're watching the menu as it checks the disc, mounts it. Seems like it takes forever. It's not that long. You see this format, it's asking you if you want to format this. It's got it highlighted on OK, push enter, and it's actually formatting the disc now. We need to format three discs. Not a bad idea to format four just for hot spare. This should happen before the meeting starts. We want to get the discs formatted. Once they're formatted, we're going to write down number one, number two, number three, and the person's name who's speaking and the date on the surface of the disc. That one's finished. So we're going to open it up, move it aside, <laughs> Mount another disc and format all three. Now, just so you know, if you happen to pick, pick up a disc that is already formatted and put it in the machine, it's going to check the disc and you'll get another indication. It's not going to ask you if you want it to format. Don't let that throw you off. It's just already formatted and ready to go. Let's let that see what it does. And don't worry about the fact that everybody in the whole club will be watching you when you're watching the little menu here, counting of seconds. <laughs> Sometimes. So we've come up with the menu here instead. Now this menu, you see video to DVD, photo to DVD, DVD preview. We want video to DVD. The input is not DV in, it's actually video in. We move it down with the arrow key and we hit enter on video in. At this time, it's ready to be recorded on. Now we've got the camera, we've got this unit ready to record. We've got our disc formatted, we've got our disc marked so that we know which speaker's on which disc. Now we need to make sure we've got sound. So you put the headphones on and then you check the indicator right here, you'll be able to see these bars moving for two channels showing that stereo sound is happening. If for some reason you have no indication there, you've got to troubleshoot. It could be the power is not on this unit right here. It could be that the cable from here is not properly anchored or not in the right hole. It could be that it's not plugged into the camera or seated properly. Or it could be the unit up front is not powered on or the microphone is not plugged in properly. Very important to get good quality sound before the meeting starts. It generally will already be set up for you, but you want to check to make sure you have sound. Okay, we've checked the sound. We've got good sound. The meeting's happening and we're ready to record our first speaker. There are two record buttons. On the camera, the start and stop button will actually record to the hard drive in the camera, right here. Start and stop. You also need to push record on the burner unit itself because here we're burning standard video to the DVD. We do that, the scene starts, we start here and we start here by pushing this button. It illuminates in red showing that it's recording. Now the speech is finished and we need to change the DVD so we can capture the next speaker on their own DVD. We're currently recording. We want to push this button right here to stop the recording. And it says, please wait. As soon as that moves from please wait, we're going to eject and load another disc. This takes a few seconds to happen. Don't worry, 